Whether you're on vacation, in training, or just going to be unavailable for more than a few hours, it's a good idea to set up an out-of-office automatic reply. This lets the people you work with know that you're unavailable and when they can expect you to get back to them. Trust me, this little bit of extra professionalism will be appreciated. To get started, go to the settings icon in the upper right corner of the screen. If you used Outlook Classic in the past, you will be tempted to go to the mail menu. For Outlook on the web and new Outlook, the out of office option has been moved to the account menu. From there, select automatic replies. Use the toggle to turn on this feature. By default, Outlook will immediately begin sending out automatic replies. You can customize this by putting a check mark in the box for send replies only during a time period. Then you can use the calendar picker and the time drop down to select a start and end time and date. You have the option to block your calendar for this time period so that schedule assistant will show you as unavailable. You can automatically decline new invitations for events that occur during your out of office time period. And you can decline and cancel meetings that may already be on your calendar. Next, you can set up the message you want to include. As a suggested best practice, I would include the following, the dates that you will be out, an alternative contact if possible and how to reach them, and set an expectation for when the person can expect you to reply after you return to the office. The message will be sent to anyone inside of your organization or company. If you want people outside of your organization to see the message, such as customers or business partners, put a check mark in the send replies outside of your organization box. Once you do that, you have the option to narrow down the external replies to only people who are on your contact list. The option you will choose will depend on what works best for your business process. Then you have the option to write a different message for external replies. For example, I want customers to contact the help desk for assistance while I am out. When you are done, click save. If you specified a time period, Outlook will wait until the start time to begin sending out the replies and then automatically turn them off at the time specified. If you did not set a time period, the automatic messages will begin immediately and you will need to come back to settings to turn them off when you return to the office. As a tip, the information you used in Outlook will feed to Teams as well, so you don't have to set it up twice. But if you would like to double check, go to Teams and click the three dots for settings and more in the upper right corner next to your presence icon. Then select settings from the menu. On the general tab on the left side of the screen, scroll down to out of office. Then click view. From here, you will see the information you used in Outlook. The only difference I've noticed is the formatting is a bit different in Teams. For example, we bolded the dates in Outlook, but they don't show as bold in Teams. That aside, if people are trying to contact you in Teams instead of Outlook, they will still know that you are unavailable.